What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel is a long awaited video on the Milwaukee M18 Top Off. So this is an awesome inverter that has just hit the market. I have had this bad boy on pre-order for longer than I care to admit, but it's finally here and I'm here to do a video on it for you. So if you're into one of those videos where we're trying to plug anything and everything into this inverter, this is not the video. There are some awesome videos from belts and boxes. Uh, Rob plugs in all kinds of stuff. He's got a power strip on it, running all of his video equipment. There's an awesome video from VCG Construction, and Vince is trying to plug it into anything and everything all around the shop to include a stand-up mini fridge. So there are many possibilities that this could power, but keep in mind this is an 175 watt inverter. So if you have 120 volts, you divide 175 watts by 120 volts. This is only going to power things that are 1.48 amps and under. So you are not going to have uh, some you know, crazy abilities to plug in power tools. You need to have reasonable expectations about this product, uh, but it's always fun to see uh, people trying. So I've ran this uh, Milwaukee top off on the 4.0 battery. I'm a simple peasant that doesn't own a 12.0 high demand or any of the high demand batteries for that matter. So uh, this battery has been running well for me for over a day now. So I have it on the XC 4.0 and it is more than I need. So I've charged up my phone, I've ran my iPad all day at work. I've even tested and uh, played around with some LED lights on top of the lift. This is definitely a game changer and allows you to plug in just about anywhere. Some of the features, Obviously, it has a rafter hook for those of you that might need to power something in the rafters. Keep in mind, under 1.5 amps. Uh, it comes with a USB-A uh, charging adapter port, a USB-C, and the standard 120 volt plug. So what I was thinking when I was watching everybody's review is, if we have any electrical engineers out there, I wanted to see exactly how well this top off does its job. So today we are gonna hook up the scope meter and we are going to see exactly how many volts, the hertz, and the sine wave that this bad boy gives off to see exactly how nice of a clean signal this is given. So great that I can hook up my, my uh, meter just about anywhere I need to. And then we're gonna test the voltage here. All right, so let's go ahead and power up our uh, top, top off here by hitting the plug button. We're gonna insert our leads here and see just what we have. So it looks like 119.2 volts AC and our Hertz is right at 61.27, let's call it. So a pretty good sine wave here. Uh, this is what it would generally look like for a DC inverter and it's not too bad. Now, this is not pure wave uh, or pure sine wave technology. I mean, you're not paying for that, um, but this will give you more than ample uh, you know, power and frequency to power just about anything that you'd want to. So it's pretty clean coming out of here and pretty much right on the money with only a half a volt from being 120. So I'm pretty impressed with Milwaukee's top off. They executed this step nicely. So overall guys, I am very, very impressed with this tool at $99, you can't beat it. Uh, it pretty much powers all your sensitive equipment or whatever you would like to that's under one and a half amps pretty much anywhere you wanna go with it. So obviously you're gonna get more runtime out of bigger batteries, but this 4.0 has pretty much done everything that I need it to in the last day, day and a half now. And I've really been impressed with how much runtime I get off a of battery. So it's not sucking the juice down like crazy. It's still giving you nice clean power that pretty much anything can plug into. Uh, your sensitive devices, plugging your phone in, charging your computer, it's a thumbs up all the way around. So I really, really recommend this. Uh, I haven't found anything bad about it. Uh, it's been pretty darn good to me. So I see it being a game changer in my future. I hope it's a game changer in your future. Give my video a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you haven't clicked subscribe to the channel yet, well, it's time that you stick around because we're gonna have some fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.